top two in the main event in order to lock us into Saturday night's Trophy Dash. So, um, really excited to kick off this really big weekend. Yeah, uh, we had a lot of success at this race last year, so hoping for some more success in our factory QRC uh, Tanner Holmes Racing Fast Forward Media number 321. So, uh, qualifying is going to be up next. We're going to be going out towards the middle, and we're just going to have to try to rip the best lap in order to get into a heat race and get the passing points. Put me in the infield, and I mean, 
he was uh, whenever I'd get a run, he would just you know, you know, do whatever he can to like get me out of the way and and you know, basically try to wreck us. But like we were able to you know, keep it going. But I mean, it was just it was just a tough heat. We were all right though. I mean, there's nothing to hang our heads on. The track's super hard to pass. So um, it was overall hard just just because it's all on the bottom. So it's hard to pass either way. Um, but we're going to be starting six in this upcoming feature, so I'm excited to uh, run the feature. Hopefully we can move up some positions. It is going to be hard, though, uh, just because the track is, like I said, it's all around the bottom, like bad. It's, you know, there's only one lane, and that lane is the bottom. Um, so we're just going to have to try to do our best and get through the field. Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to go to the outside, and, you know, hopefully just get some runs up there uh, and do the best we can. So uh, main event's going to be up next. We're going to be rolling up from six. next day and just going off a recap of last night's show um last night went really well for the 321 but unfortunately we just came off one spot short of that you know transfer to lock in straight into saturday night's dash um but we're gonna be back at it tonight to you know try to get in the top two once again in order to lock in um but last night went well we were fast all night um, we struggled in qualifying a little bit, but I mean, we still weren't bad. We were sixth quick, so nothing, nothing bad. Um, but 
we had a we had a decent heat race and uh you know we started sixth i believe in that main and i mean we were doing good i was fast and um on one of the restarts i went to the bottom and the car behind me kind of just drove on top of me so that kind of put us to the back and after i went to the back i was a little frustrated just because you know I, if I wouldn't have got, you know, drove in on top of, I feel like we really could have had a shot for the transfer. Um, but either way, we got put to the back and we were able to come back pretty well. We came back to a top three finish, so just one spot out. And honestly, it would have been really interesting to see what would have happened with that race if they wouldn't have had to cut laps. But because there were so many yellows in that race, they had to cut laps because of time. So we didn't get the full 20 laps that we were supposed to run. Um, I'm not really sure how many we did, but we didn't get the full 20. Um, but overall, um, a, gr a good night to start off the 2023 Timber 50. And uh, we're going to be back at it tomorrow for more action. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Lights out.